Guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review on Avengers Endgame. Sorry, this is so delayed. So delayed. I'm just a bit sick and too tired to do anything. So, first, the start of the movie, how Iron Man was in the ship. That was only like the first like 10-15 minutes of the movie. And it went a bit too quick for me. So And the start felt rushed. So... They need more work on that, but for a really good ending and middle bit, the start is actually quite good. Because otherwise the movie would have been four hours if they didn't like close down the first few scenes. The first scene was quite good. I'm not going to spoil too much. It's so hard trying to do something and not spoiling anything. So the way they did it was quite interesting and unexpected. I didn't expect that what happened would happen. I was expecting like, I don't know what I was expecting, but not what the movie is. And it's all about time. A lot and a lot about time. And at the start, Thanos is farming, which is what he did in the comics, and that's what my friend told me he would probably do. But, so if, but I love all the special effects, and I would have taken a lot of time with the time travel back to the f past. Some travel to the past, and that is what they need a lot of detail on, and probably stunt doubles. Not gonna spoil anything too much. So hard, it's so hard doing a review without spoiling Thor, Bruce Banner. There's Valkyrie in it. There's she's she's not in much. She's not in a much. Captain Marvel who doesn't appear much. But it, besides that, it was an amazing movie. I loved all the special effects. The end scene is really emotional. I'm not going to spoil too much. And yeah, all together, it was a beautiful movie to finish it off. But there's still going to be more Avengers. Like Avengers 5, probably, and 6. But it's just going to hold it off for now until the problem that was with. And its end game is solved. There's not a problem at the end. It's all solved at the end. But yeah, not gonna spoil too much. Four minutes and I am tired. That's basically it. If I was to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it a nine out of ten. Cause like I said before, there's some parts they could have done better. Not gonna spoil too much. But if what would have made it a 10 out of 10 is if like Captain Marvel made a bit more of an appearance because they built up the hype with her movie her, pre her prequel Captain Marvel yeah you know if she's gonna be in it and boom she's not even in it that much probably only for like five six minutes of appearance all the other characters probably got like an hour if you haven't watched it yet, don't look at any Marvel stuff. There will be spoilers. I've just after I finished watching Avengers Endgame, the day after, I was looking through Avengers stuff, and it was filled with spoilers. And I can confirm that they are true. I can confirm most of them are true. I don't want to say too much, but that's the end of the video.